I, uh, I, this is the first time I've ever eaten pizza off a truck. I uh, met with uh, Vincent and his wife, Andrea, and um, I'm really excited that they are able to do um, build a business um, during these COVID times. I mean, he, um, he had a cafe inside the World Gem. Obviously, they couldn't open it for a while, but he decided to make pizzas because that's what's you know something he's been doing for a while. He's a 19. He's been doing it for 19 years. Uh, Pizziola, right? So I'm kind of excited. This looks good. I kind of like. There's a lot of sauce on here. The the cheese looks fresh, right? Um, pulled, right? Not cut, shredded. So we'll see. So I know that. Let me just grab this piece. All right. So he has a wood fire stove. Okay. So. There we go. Mm. I like the taste of it. You taste the sauce, the freshness. I should have asked him next time. It's so close. Next time I will ask him for a little extra crispy. This just part you can taste. I don't know if you had it crunch, right? So cr the crust part is pretty good. It's crunchy. Um, it's cooked well because it's a freaking wood oven. Hmm. I could probably eat this whole thing. That's, I don't think Irene's going to like. I'm going to have another piece and then bring it home. Score. I like the sauce. I like the cheese. Solid 8.9, very good, very good pie. Def I'm definitely coming back more often. There's not too many places uh, where I live have decent pizza. I'm I guess I'm guessing I'm spoiled from going to Brooklyn and New York City. But I am coming here probably more often than I should. But I appreciate him and his family for doing something like this and having making great pizza. I'm going to ask, ask for extra crispy next time. I know somebody said that to me, and I forgot. But, you know, he's out there making the pizzas in front of World Gym. I, who would have figured? So, come and visit. Um, definitely come out. All right.